all right so that was pretty amazing uh, let's so let's see how it works uh, and how it all comes together so one of the main requirements for this project on my end was that it needs to be isolated uh, so any external sound cannot affect the graph or the visual um, or the audio visualizer so if you're talking and doing other things while the music is playing out a lot of visualizers just take the input from um, from a mic or a couple of mics uh, and then just represent that and that kind of uh, holds back the whole kind of purity um, and of course once you take in the actual audio it uh, you have then the option of uh, having it in stereo so as you can see the two uh, the visualizer was actually divided in half uh, and going from the going from the lowest frequency it was the end of the uh, end of both end of the line uh, and then uh, towards the middle it's the highest frequency so so to take pure analog audio input you'd either need like a USB audio device uh, like a audio DAC or something but those aren't really that high of a quality and then I've had issues with them uh, not lasting very long. So I decided to use a Dragon Board. Now Dragon Board, as many of you would know, has an analog, uh, analog pinout. So you can, it has a couple of pins for mic input and audio output. And in fact, I, I have the audio mezzanine right here, but here's the catch. The, pins on the audio mezzanine aren't connected i've removed them i'm just using the audio mezzanine as a level shifter for i squared c it has a pretty good level shifter up there uh, as you can see uh, these two small little tiny chips uh, they could do a very good job of converting i2c from 1.8 to 5 volts uh, that's what uh, then drives the arduino and the arduino ends up driving the new pixels at this end now let's get back for, to the Dragon Boat 14C for a minute. The Dragon Boat 14C has analog inputs uh, as well as outputs. So let's remove everything from there and flip it over. All right, so this is the back side of the Dragon Boat 14C. And I, as you can see, I have added quite a few wires there. Uh, and all of them are related to the analog pinout. So uh, this yellow one coming up right there is, the, is for uh, mic 2. Or the or, or mic input two, uh, the green one is for ground, so that's just a ground reference for mic input two. Um, now there is a mic input three on the analog header, but sadly that's on the same ADC internally. It's muxed to the same ADC, and I wasn't able to get it to work with uh, in a, in a like a stereo configuration with um, mic input two. So I actually have to pull out mic input one. So mic input two and three are here. Mic input one is on this uh, GM1 pad that you can see right there. Uh, it's actually meant to have a very specific mic fitted onto it, but like anything else, you can hack around it. There's a little pin there that takes the mic input and just add your uh, one point, your line in from there. Now line in and mic input on the Dragon Boat 4 and C have different values um, in terms of voltage. The line input is around 2 volts, the mic input is around 1.8 or lower. So if you feed in 2 volts, uh, first of all it can damage your hardware, second of all it's going to sound awful, completely uh, like really bad. Uh, it's going to cut off and do weird things. So to smoothen that out, we have this little circuit. Uh, it's It basically steps down the voltage uh, of the input. So you have your line input from here and went with the RCA style uh, uh, sockets for the audio input. Uh, you can go with anything else you want. I think I have the 3.5 mm jack lying around somewhere but uh, you can go with that as well so there's no restriction on there so you have your ground coming in right here and then your stereo input plus your reference voltage and everything else coming up right there uh, this is how it looks from the back um, yeah just some simple soldering job nothing fancy i got the schematic from lawrence uh, over at the 96 boats forum so uh, he helped me out with this uh, in a specific forum post, a link in the description. So if you want to build this on your own, we'll have everything linked in the description. There's going to be a blog post, there's going to be a project page that has all the code, all the Python code. So uh, everything uh, regarding uh, getting the 
getting the input uh, and you know processing it converting it into values for the new pixel is done on python on the dragon board fort and see the only thing the arduino is here for is to drive the new pixels because they require very specific timing uh, and arduino can do uh, it pretty well uh, because it's like not running an operating system this is running a non real time os so uh, that kind of effects uh, very tight timing so uh, all this does is take four bytes as an input over i squared c the first byte is the number of led so the position of led in a strip the next three bytes are uh, your r g and b color uh, and then it drives the new pixel from there there's no uh, as such computation happening uh, regarding this specific project this is a very simple kind of a uh, interface i built while back for the carbon rover and we are using the same thing uh, over again here you can also use some of the smaller arduinos that can save a lot of space yeah so something like this uh, the nano would work really well so you can see the size difference is amazing but i just need this for prototyping and i stuck with it so this is the setup you saw earlier in the video uh, everything was going on this front and i have a new pixel strip right down there if you can see it's in an angle uh, if i open this up completely and this is actually a housing for what they call a white uh, a light room kind of a thing uh, of photo box a light room whatever you want to call it so you basically place a product here have a very powerful light and you can do product photography and everything so the plastic is pretty good well diffused uh, so if you have your new pixels at an angle you get a pretty nice effect of the light kind of flowing upwards uh, and diffusing really well so again that's kind of the customization you can do with these things in my python code the leds show only three colors so that's r g and b because i kind of like all my audio visualizers to be very specific uh, rather than you know have a wide range of colors because then uh, everything kind of gets mixed all together and the effects don't really look good so it's all up to personal taste you can go ahead uh, change your code it's all open source change the code and have it run your way so i guess this was about it thank you so much for watching again all the project details would be in down in the description so that you can get all your parts and make everything on your own i have listed each and everything that i've used here including uh, the values of the circuit capacitors and the circuit itself so thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe for more future projects uh, hit the bell button while you're at it so you get future updates and uh, see you at open hours every thursday that we live stream on this very youtube channel as well where we discuss uh, stuff related to tech thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one mm -hmm.